and let's talk to our panel about what the key things are that they're going to be looking for uh, this evening. Uh, and Maeve, let me start with you. What is the what is the one key thing you're really going to be looking for? Well, yes, I know we're all uh, just waiting to see what Donald Trump does, but I am really fascinated in how Hillary Clinton actually excites her, her base tonight. There are more undecided voters at this point in the election than there were in 2012 at this point who are leaning toward third-party candidates or just undecided. And she really has to get out there and excite people tonight. And that's been a challenge for her so far. So she's got to step that up tonight and it'll be interesting to see if she can do it. Tim? I think Hillary Clinton has to deal with the with the honesty issue. It's surprising. We were talking about fact-checking. Most people were thinking it was fact-checking Donald Trump. She has to deal with the, the uh, server issue. She's got to look at the audience and not just say she regrets it, but she has to say that she was scarred by Whitewater, that she wanted to protect her privacy. She was wrong to do this. She should have trusted. <clears throat> the State Department to take care of her private emails, but she did it because of the experience she had in the 1990s. And it was wrong to do. She won't do it again. She admits error. She admits fault. She puts Donald Trump uh, on his back, uh, back legs because that's one thing Donald Trump does not do. Mr. Mayor? Well, I would agree that uh, certainly acknowledging um, more than she has uh, and taking the full responsibility on the email server issue would serve her well. I think you'll see Hillary Clinton as she really is. She is a warm, knowledgeable person. She is a commander in chief. On the other side, A, we have no idea what to expect from Donald Trump. He's, uh, you know, a political a chameleon all over the place and wants to get points just for acting like a normal person, that somehow that's the new standard. That is not the standard. As David said, it is the most powerful job uh, on the planet. And uh, just showing up, uh, you don't get, this is not the SATs. You don't get 200 points just for showing up and writing your name correctly. This is a president. <laughs> nice SAT <laughs> reference. You're having flashbacks. Yeah, yeah, Jeffrey. Me too. I, I think his challenge here is to draw the line, which I assume he will in Trump's some fashion. Trump's challenge. Trump's challenge. Trump's challenge. Okay. Between the political class and Hillary Clinton is the representative of that political class, and Donald Trump as the, if you will, the rebellion or the outsiders. And, and making the point that she's just more of the same that's been going on in Washington, frankly, in both parties for a very long time, and he is the difference. Okay. Yeah. Well, so obviously she has a real problem with white working class voters. Is there something, she, I'd like to see her do something that shows that she is the one who really cares about them, that she can somehow emote and show that I'm for you, the way that Donald Trump has sort of done this populist, you know, I'm looking out for the little guy, for her to really connect with them in a way that she hasn't at this point. Douglas? I'm looking for zingers who can really scar somebody and do damage with a fiery dart uh, of attack. Um, the dark arts okay. of Roger Ailes. What has Ailes <laughs> been planning for Trump? <laughs> and in that regard, what's Donald Trump going to do about these um, tax returns? How can he handle that he's the only person around for major office not releasing them? He may have a surprise and say, look, I got a letter from the IRS saying I'm under audit and I'll release it tomorrow. He won't walk over and hand the paper <laughs> like we saw in the clip, but, but I think he's got to grab with that. Mary Catherine? Yeah, I think that contrition would help her. I'm not sure she's capable of it. Calm conversance would help him. I'm not sure he's capable of it. And to Mayor Nutter's point and yours about whether the expectations game is fair, it's kind of not. And I've wondered why. And I think it's because people are jonesing for a change election. They're being offered status quo that they don't like or trust and a change guy that they're not real sure about at all. If he can be calm about it, they might be satisfied. Very quick, David, if you could. I, I, I'm looking for who takes command of the stage tonight because I think that person may very well be the next president. All right, great panel. Thank you so very much.